Hello friends and welcome back, this is episode 45 of our Terraria 1.2 Let's Play, and I am back at home, as usual, with a few little things that I want to go over before we get into today's episode. First of all, I want to show you a little bit of armor that I happen to have found. This is... well, it would have been a big deal had I found it a bit earlier, but I actually have a frost helmet and a frost leggings. Of course, missing the frost chest here, but uh, what that means is essentially I've confronted the ice golem, or whatever we're calling the ice monster, uh, that resides over in the ice biome, or the snow biome, when it is actually blizzarding. He might actually show up, and I happen to run into him a couple of times. Unfortunately, didn't catch that on camera. The fight was actually completely inconsequential. I basically just had him fall into a little pit with some water, and I just beat him up with the, uh, the furious golden shower, and then Celestial poisoned him to death. Didn't take very long, wasn't very difficult, didn't die. Uh, and I was kind of surprised that I guess at the armor level that I'm at now, he's not nearly the threat that I thought he was before. Uh, so the other thing, aside from that, was I had also done a bit of farming, and this is just to try and get things uh, moving in forward progression or momentum with regard to the Let's Play, uh, and I just want to kind of get some stuff done out of camera range or out of, you know, your general vision, so you don't have to watch me sit here for hours and try and farm uh, red demons, which was the other thing I did, actually. It made my way all the way over to the left side of the map here for whatever reason. It wasn't really a reason for me to do it, I just decided to explore most of hell. And I went over and hung out here in this corner for quite a while, had red demons spawn pretty consistently, and I didn't get a single one that actually dropped that uh, burning feather or whatever it is that I need to make the demon wings, which is the thing that I kind of wanted, because the butterfly wings, I have no issues with them, but they're a little silly looking. I would kind of like something a little bit more badass to compliment my hero, who looks like he could take out some serious business. Um, then uh, the other thing I wanted to go over was, well, you guys answered my questions about uh, what I should buy with my hard-earned gold here, and one of those things is the mushroom spear, so I'm going to go grab some money and do that right now, and then we'll have that going forward. Also, uh, somebody mentioned, like, why aren't you using the, uh, the pone hammer instead of the flame hammer, which I don't even know why I was using that one at this point. For some reason, I thought this wasn't just a normal hammer. I thought it was, like, a special tool that was only used for crushing, uh, those altars, but, you know, that was not the case. As well as, uh, in the, an episode a few episodes ago where I was first discovering the crimson. There we go, we've got the mushroom spear. It's unpleasant. I might have to re... No, you know what? I'll deal with that one just fine. Um, oh man, I've got so many things going on in here now. Uh, yeah, the other thing was in the Crimson, somebody noticed I hadn't been smashing the demon altars. For whatever reason, I thought I needed a special tool to smash those, so I wasn't bothering them. Uh, as it turns out, though, they're just standard stuff. Wow, look at this thing. This is pretty weird looking. Um, yeah, so I, I just took care of that after that episode had ended. So, you know, all of the altars have been smashed. I think I probably destroyed about 20 of the things. I found them all over the freaking place. Uh, and I also wanted to grab some Spelunker potions, because we're going back to... Oh, I killed the torch by accident. We're going back to the jungle for a few moments here. My other plan is to fight the twins, perhaps in this episode, if it's something that I can take on. Oh, I found another unicorn on a stick, which someone asked me to see what that is, just in case it w goes well with my princess outfit, and it looks like it might! Oh my goodness, what happened? My character just got stuck walking into the wall. I think there's a bug where occasionally you'll only walk in one direction. I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, cosmetics are right here. We'll put that on, we'll put that on. Yeah, so uh, there you go. If you wanted, If you wanted to see something like that, there it is. I can fly through the sky with the greatest of ease with my unicorn on a my unicorn on a stick. They should make a unicorn dog. It's pretty silly. All right, so where are my spelunker potions? I want those. Uh, those are going to be over here. I don't have very many of them, but I'll take two of the three, and then we'll just go ahead and see if I can find some more of that chlorophyte, which is, I believe, how we're supposed to pronounce it. Yeah, I know it's like chlorophyll. Uh, and also, someone told me that this guy here. Being that he sells the auto hammer, I should maybe avoid getting that for a moment, just because it's kind of expensive and there's only two items I can get out of it, that the uh, Shroomite is only necessary for a couple of things. So maybe I'm not that worked up about having or not having that at this very moment. Uh, so let's head back over. Oh, and the teleporters, right, that's the other thing. I didn't realize those had to be wired together. Uh, I had actually looked it up on the wiki uh, before we got to the point where you guys were already commenting on it. I already knew the answer. And I should have probably checked that before I even started dealing with the teleporters, but it's sort of on a whim. I also found the comments kind of hilarious, uh, in a, like, a light-hearted way. Not like I'm taking it too seriously here, but all the people that were, like, criticizing 
the place that I put the mushroom biome, like, that it wasn't gonna work. And then people were, like, getting slightly upset sounding that it's like I didn't put it in a separate place from my house. Um, I wasn't actually intentionally trying to make that be a mushroom biome so the dude would move in. I didn't actually know that that's a thing that would happen until after the episode where I started it. I was just doing it so I could farm those mushrooms in case I needed to turn them into something. Uh, because I think somebody had told me I wanted to have those around for some reason anyway. I don't really remember the details. So yeah, I went ahead and did that, and then as it turns out, that was one of the most beneficial moves I could have made. And I was very lucky to have put it where I put it. Things uh, ended up the way they did, and the dude moved in. I actually need to expand my house yet again. Uh, even now this, the steampunker lady showed up, so she's cool. We got the teleporters from her. And I think there's even perhaps a few more NPCs. I'm not sure, it's like, what is there, 18, 22, something like that. Uh, we've got to be getting pretty close to the, now to the end of that. And I know there's a witch doctor as well. Oh, man. It is, and I've also learned the different progression for the bosses than I thought it was. Apparently, uh, Plantera is not next. Next, I want to be fighting the twins and uh, the Skeletron fight, which is going to be very difficult. I, I love how somebody even said in the, uh, the Destroyer episode, like, well, it's kind of a strategy, actually, to summon the Destroyer when you're trying to fight another boss because you get all those heart drops, which actually is a huge help. I didn't really think of that. I mean, I did think of that, but I didn't think of it, like, consciously. It just sort of is the way things worked out. I don't know if I'm going to bother wiring these two teleporters together. Maybe I'll sort this out beforehand. I'll see, like, if I figure out exactly how to deal with uh, wiring, because I've never even done that before. And then we'll see if it makes sense to bother bringing the thing all the way over there. Uh, so let's hit B. And now we've got our Spelunker Potion. We should be able to see things fairly easily. Um, there's all kinds of things here in the jungle that I want to make sure I get. And I also want to make sure I don't die, of course. And one of the best ways to make sure I don't die is to collect as much... Oh, there's a whole a bunch of this Chlorophyte here. Uh, I want to collect a whole bunch of those items that are going to extend my health. I mean, even if it's only just a few uh, HP, which it is. It's only five per... And then in terms of armor progression, I believe I want to be going for either the Chlorophyte or the Turtle Armor. I'm not sure quite yet which one that it is that I actually want to be going for, but I'll see if I can maybe just build both of them. Uh, because it's really... It, I'm kind of going to try to get everything eventually, so who cares, right? Like, if it takes a little longer and maybe I have to farm some things off camera, uh, I'll deal with that. You guys don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, I've taken care of a bunch of that already, and sometimes it's resulted in unfortunate things where I maybe missed a moment or two uh, with regard to the things that I've been looking for, you know, leading me to something else that I was looking for that I didn't know I was looking for anyway. Uh, that's kind of what happened with the moth last time, but thankfully I was, you know, recording at the moment. I mean, granted, I could probably be recording for all of it, and I probably should be recording for all of it, but it's a pain in the butt, and I don't actually know... Uh, how to speed up footage in Vegas just yet. It's probably easy, but I'm still trained on using stupid Camtasia Studio, so that is the way I know how to do it. And maybe I need to just, you know, take a few moments and watch a tutorial or something uh, and progress as a human being in my field of choice, which is, you know, doing videography. <laughs> but call it laziness if you want. I'll probably figure it out eventually. Uh, for now, though, I think I'm just going to stick to doing things the way I have. You know, occasional little things off camera, as minimal as possible. I don't think, like, I, I feel like I'm hurting anybody too much from that. And I also missed a chest last time, which I'm going to see if I can perhaps make my way toward uh, this time. I think I know roughly where it is, but no guarantees. We'll see. And it is very dark in here. Let me put a torch down. At least we've got a really sweet pickax pick pickaxe, right? So I don't have to really worry about spending too much time eating away on the walls here. Oh man, everywhere I go, I keep finding more chlorophyte. I keep thinking that I'm going to run out, and then I'm going to turn around, and then I don't. Oh, I got a vine. Do I still want vines for anything? Probably not at this point. I think they're probably a little bit beneath us. And there's still more over to the left, and then another one below, and then more to the left. Well, this is not the direction that I meant to be heading in, but now I can't really stop. What I should be doing is just running... Uh, through the whole jungle biome so I can see where all the spawn locations are. But I have a second one, a second uh, potion which I can use. But this is kind of taking me on a grand tour through all of it, which is kind of cool too. Uh, another torch necessary. You know, I've been playing a ton of Starbound right now, you know, between bouts of playing this. And it's so amazing how different these two games are, even though they're so similar in a, a few other ways. You know, the progression system in Starbound is drastically different 
Uh, although it still, again, also shares some similarities in that it's usually mining, then boss battle, then mining, then boss battle. But there's so many other directions you can take things in both of the games uh, that it's kind of bizarre, like, how often they line up, yet how different they still are at the end of the day. Uh, the, the progression in Starbound, yeah, is still not quite fully fleshed out. I mean, as I'm sure you know, if anyone out there has been playing it, uh, the game is still in beta, and there's a lot that's not done. Uh, the whole progression of the entire game, I think, can be done in, I don't know, about four... No, I was gonna say four hours, that's not correct. Probably more like ten hours, I think, is correct. Uh, in terms of, you know, fighting all the bosses and seeing what there is to see, but that's also because things can be exploited right now. Uh, the balance is not entirely worked out. What is that weird thing? Is that a health plant? Oh, it is. I definitely want that. Oh, and tons more chlorophyte. So we might actually end up with enough to make a difference on this run. Because uh, again, my main focus is, in addition to fighting bosses when possible, you know, work on armor. And today we're going to be wearing our princess gear, I guess. But that's just because I'm a silly guy. Sometimes I want to wear princess armor. You can't stop me. You shouldn't stop me, really. Uh, so we're going to go grab this plant. And then we're going to go up and grab that. And then there's the uh, golden chest that just came into view. Life fruit. And let's go ahead and equip that, or put it into our bar here. There we go, another five, and another uh, heart that is turned to gold. So I have tried to keep this series very much uh, daily right now. I know that's been a little bit at the expense of some other series. Hopefully you guys are still hanging in there with that. Uh, I had promised that I'm going to go back to Long Live the Queen. That is still not a promise that I'm willing to say I've relinquished. It's just taking me longer than I expected, because once I commit to playing that, I'm going to really want to play it every day again. And right now, I'm kind of obsessed with playing Terraria. I'm just really having a really fun time playing it. So I kind of want to just ride that wave of whatever I'm enjoying the most and just organically want to play the most. Right now, I'm in sort of a natural stopping point with Long Live the Queen, so once I start it again, I'm going to be in it again. But for now, my focus is all about Terraria. Uh, and hopefully you guys are cool with that, because I think you guys seem to be enjoying Terraria. I'm certainly enjoying it myself, as I just said. And that is the end of our potion. So I kind of need to maybe go back or find another spot. Well, I've got a little bit more chlorophyte here that I can grab. And then we'll move back to the other end and look for that chest that I mentioned earlier. Actually, I could just hop down here real quick and see if there... Oh, that was a little bit of a pit, wasn't it? I'm really happy I don't have to worry about fall damage anymore because that was a bee in my bonnet, as I'm sure many of you know. I've fallen to my death hundreds of times in the series, and I really wish... Well, I don't have to wish anymore. It is over. There is no more fall damage anymore. All I need now is a better set of wings, and I'm very dismayed to find out that there are no wings with infinite fly potential other than, like, dev wings, apparently, which are not really a thing. They're just sort of, like, uh, some kind of hidden treasure that is only for them because I am not a dev. And, well, I don't really need to fly endlessly, but it certainly would be nice. Uh, but anyway, that's why my focus has been off-camera in grant, uh, finding a way to grant myself that burning uh, feather. That way I could build the demon wing setup, which is what I thought would make things, well, both look a lot cooler and perhaps be even a little bit more functional. Man, there's so much chlorophyte. I really thought this was so rare, but it is not. Alright, there's another chunk of it over here. As long as I just keep putting torches down, it seems like I'm in sort of like an endless chlorophyte realm right now. And it all should have the potential to keep spreading back out every time I leave. So if we get really lucky, the time that it'll take me to mine to my heart's content down here will be just enough to leave us uh, with the end of a day, and then when we come back to our home, it should hopefully be evening, and then we should be about to start another night, which I can then use that time... Oh, what am I doing there? I can use that time to potentially make the summon to make the twins, and then maybe we'll get a fight in of the twins? I don't know, actually, I'm seeing it's already almost 15 minutes through this episode, so maybe that won't actually happen today. Uh, but I might have enough chlorophyte to actually make some stuff for next time, and then we can actually just go in that direction instead. Why am I just staying underwater as I'm drowning? Um, I gotta go find that chest in a few moments as well, because I don't really think this is the direction I want to keep heading in. Oh, that's gold. I thought that was chlorophyte again. There is a little bit in the wall over here, though. It looks like two chunks, so essentially one. There we go. What is the range? Can't, is there a, an object that lets you pull ore and, and objects out of walls from further away? I feel like that was a thing that I had seen somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking of something that lets you place objects. It's probably that tool belt. Um, I'm going to take this 
and leave those, because I think maybe, I don't know, that one might have had more potential to branch out. I don't really know. I'm making excuses here. Uh, let's look over to the left here and see if this opens up into another cave system. I was feeling surprisingly intimidated by this biome last time, and now I guess nobody's spawning, so it's like we're just kind of hanging out by ourselves here. And we've got a gold chest, which is probably not going to result in a whole lot of anything, but might as well open it up anyway. An angel statue, uh, some torches that I can absorb, a little bit of silver. Hunter potion? Alright, well, I guess that's something. Uh, lead bars, well I need those to craft some of the summon items. Flares, I'll just add that to my total. Bombs and flare gun, don't really need those at all. And I guess I'll just get rid of this chest so I don't have to look at it anymore. Oh, and there's some more chlorophyte. So cool, let's keep grabbing that. And hopefully this will be a big old vein of it. Oh, it looks like it is one of the biggest I've seen, actually. This is a material that seems to show up in chunks that are pretty small. I mean, I guess it's not super rare, but it's a lot of little chunks. you got to really be all over this place. And I hear from reading the wiki that there are a ton of things you can make with this, and it's going to require a massive amount of it. Uh, in total, to reach everything that I could potentially want to build with this material. So I guess we'll see how it goes, uh, whether or not I want to stick to that. Oh, there's a turtle down here that I didn't notice at first. There's two of them. Also kind of hilarious that apparently that moth that I had actually discovered... Oh, jeez, that dude almost took me out in one hit. Uh, that moth that I discovered is apparently extremely rare, and the fact that I found two of them is maybe exceptional. I thought that was pretty amazing as well. Um, how do I handle this guy? You know, in Starbound, I've learned basically all problems can be solved by boxing in your enemies. This game doesn't quite work that way. You've got to be a little bit more uh, in your face with how you approach fights a lot of the time. And if one of these guys gets loose and finds his way up here, that could be the end of days for me. If I could maybe get up here... I'm hoping I can, like, split this toxic staff... No, alright. The, the projectiles from this are very unpredictable, and it uses up a lot of MP. Uh-oh, I'm poisoned. Uh, ooh, well, I've got two seconds, and then I can heal again. Don't let this be the thing that takes me out. Oh, I'm sorry, I was looking at the poison, not the other one there. Alright, let's just let this drain, and we'll see if we can shoot these turtles some more from here. I'm not sure if I need... Oh, crap. Get out. I have to see if he dropped a shell, but I'm about to die now. Uh, I think that shell that I got was also extremely rare, and I'm not sure how many I need to potentially craft anything from it. My gut tells me that I probably need many of them, but I really don't know, so I probably should have dragged him off to... or dragged the shell over to my crafting man to see what he tells me about making, you know, tortoise shell armor or whatever, because I hear that is the best in terms of defense. Now, even with that heal, I might still be in quite a bit of trouble, but if I could just finish this dude off here... Oh, alright, well, I went under him, and he- Oh god, he went right for me! Get up in the corner there, alright, let's, uh, let's do a little of that, there we go. Did I get any shells? No, I didn't see any shells drop. I was really shocked to see how infrequently that feather dropped. I really must have killed a lot of those red demons. I was starting to wonder if I wasn't maybe just in the wrong place fighting them or something. I mean, I was in hell. I would be pretty upset if I had to be, like, in underground something or other that, you know, it didn't recognize the biome the same. I should be using this mushroom staff more because it's really strong. Um, anything over here? No. Let's, uh, let's head back over and, and up and to the right. The spear is definitely pretty cool. I am glad I made it, or glad I bought it, even though it was a bit on the expensive side. I'd, although I guess at this point, that amount of gold isn't actually all that expensive. I've got a bunch of platinum now, right? So, we will live... Uh, that was the other thing, when I was doing the farming for that uh, feather, I ended up getting, I think, probably nearly a platinum from it. Uh, although it was several hours of me just wandering around down there. I mean, eventually, you're bound to accumulate a bunch of that money fighting high-level mobs like that, but still, I was impressed that it was as easy as it was, because I didn't die that many times. I mean, I did die a few times, but I didn't feel like I was potentially stuck, and if I would have just fought the dude by the end of the elevator, I guess I really would have had nothing to worry about, but for whatever reason, I decided to go all the way over to the left, and then when I died, I guess I went back to go get the gold from when I died, and then I stayed over there again. Um, anyway, that is what it is. So let's look at the map for just a moment. I think I want to be headed... Was it over here, or... 
Oh, this is such a confusing little pile of stuff. Is it this one over here? It might have been this one. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought something was attacking me. It was not. There's a little bit more chlorophyte up in the ceiling, though. And before we wrap up the episode, which is still a few minutes away, I'll be sure to try and go back to my house and see uh, just how much more chlorophyte I actually need to get uh, before I have what I need for my armor, because I think it's quite a bit. Is there any up there? Nope. I think we're clear. Keep moving to the right. And I just want to keep checking out all these little tunnels and dark passages just in case... Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Uh, just in case there happens to be a pile of this stuff hanging out. Yeah, I'm real happy about how this, this mushroom spear works. This is a lot of damage. Uh, and the more damage, the better. I, uh, basically, for getting through a situation like this, where I, I feel like my armor is maybe still slightly inferior for where it should be to fight some of these things, but I also shouldn't be taking as many hits as this. Uh, but now my damage output is sort of, I feel like it's closer to matching uh, what my armor is. Although I think this Mushroom Spear is one of the more powerful weapons in the game, am I right? Maybe I'm not, actually. And I definitely want all of that Chlorophyte, but let's get rid of this dude first. This is the same one I was fighting on the other side of the wall, he just happens to go on both sides. There we go, one more hit. Should do it. Of course, he's going to be shy the second I get near him. There we go. And let's go ahead and mine all of this out. I actually missed all the, the mining and stuff. I think that's one of my favorite parts. I mean, I love fighting the bosses, too. It's very exciting. Uh, but there's something really enjoyable about just, like, hanging out and looking for stuff underground in this sort of, like, this mysterious realm where you never know what you're going to find. There's all these rare things that show up from time to time. It's like, there's so much just random luck that happens. And every time you play the game for half an hour, it feels like there's a whole bunch of different things that could happen uh, that you'd never expect. I mean, mostly every time I've recorded an episode of this, something beneficial or fortuitous has happened outside of the realm of control, right? So that's kind of great for, you know, both just having a good time and also, like, hopefully for uh, viewing... Uh, sake too. Is that another moth down there? Did I just see? Hang on, I gotta check this out. It's not that far away. Plus, if I dig a little bit into this wall, maybe I'll find more chlorophyte. I thought I saw a moth. Might have just been a bee, I guess. It's kind of hard to tell when the light is not the best. Can I toss one of these in here? No, now I'm not seeing whatever I thought I was seeing a moment ago. Oh, it was a bee. Something about the way its wings looked made me think it was a moth. Um, and again, I don't even know if I want moths anymore. I mean, I've already gotten two of those, uh, the butterfly dust from it, right? So, I mean, what else is there to make out of that? I'm not sure if there is any other purpose for it. What I really need more than anything are the, the souls of various properties. You know, souls of light, souls of sight, souls of might, souls of darkness. It's like they kept that theme, but then they had to just break it a couple of times for some reason. Oh, there's a little bit more chlorophyte, I think, in this corner here. Yep, there it is. I should keep it up in my hotbar so I could see it as I'm accumulating it, and then I don't have to wonder every few moments, uh, like, how far I am along. Do I still have a point to getting, like, thorns and stingers and all of that stuff? There's probably something to it. And when I'm to the end of the whole progression of this game, which I, I imagine I will see the, the LP through to that point, uh, then I'll just start collecting all of the objects. And I'm clearly going to have to build, a, like, a completely new mansion... Uh, filled with rooms and places to store, you know, various archives of things. Uh, I'm looking forward to that moment. That's going to be really fun when I can just spend all my time trying to craft every object possible. And I know that's probably going to be frustrating. I know some of you out there are going to leave comments are like, well, prepare yourself, it's going to take 10,000 years. Um, I'm not worried about that. People seem like... To, to think that I don't have this, like, collectionist streak or, like, completionist streak... I totally do. I've totally got some, like, mild OCD tendencies when it comes to that stuff, and I don't have a problem uh, spending a bunch of time, as long as I have the time. And I also said I would stop referring to myself saying I have mild OCD tendencies, so sorry about that. But hopefully that's not too offensive or anything. I might actually have that legit, but, you know, it's I don't want to uh, demean or be derogatory or divisive towards anyone who actually has legitimate OCD Anyway, that's a bit of a tangent, isn't it? So, okay, a big old flat, floppy fish over here. Not interested in what you're selling. Uh, very aggressive fish. If you could just... F off, please. Are you... There we go. 
Any other fish? Oh, okay, there is. And there's also something chest-wise going on down here. Oh, it's a flatfish! Get him! There we go. It's the end of him. And we've got some kind of worm. I think I got him. It's really hard to tell what's going on down here. And what is that chest, anyway? Oh, it's got basically nothing useful in it. Whatever, I'll make a gold out of that later. Hunter potion, tungsten bars, who cares? Rope, who cares? And a breathing rod, which I think I only had one of those after all this time somehow. Ooh, I meant to do that. Water chest, right? That's what that is. I think there's like a painter's chest or something. It looks like it's got splotches of paint all over it. Any other stuff going on up here? There's too many vines, I can't even tell. Let's just clear that out real fast. And then we'll definitely want to head in the direction of those chests, or that chest that I saw last time. Uh, not like there's really any reason to be too worried about getting in the back in the direction of one chest. I mean, it's just one. And I don't know how many more things there are for me to find in chests that are necessarily going to improve my life drastically. Uh, granted, there's still plenty of accessory optimization that I need to do going forward. And I will eventually get around to that. For now, though, again, not too worried about it. I feel like my setup is... If not optimal, it's at least, uh, it gets things done. Uh, I grant that I do also want to uh, definitely craft that thing that gives me all the resistances that is high on my priority list. So if I run into any- oh, that guy's got a silly hat, I want that. Is that a possibility for me? If there's any chance of me being able to, uh, craft that accessory, I'm gonna need to look into that soon. Because I think I've got probably more than half of the items that I'm gonna need for it. Did he find his way into the water? I think that's where he went. Yeah, there he is. It gets so dark sometimes, you can't tell. Oh, I got it! The archaeologist hat, so... Uh, you don't have to cringe this episode. I saw a rare thing, I identified it, and I even chased it and got it. So, there you go. What more could you ask, right? Clearly a lot of things, because it can be very difficult to watch me play this sometimes, I've heard. Uh, so we want to head down and to the right. Like, all the way to the right, and for some reason I have completely neglected to do that every single time I've been given the option. I'll go grab that silver coin so nobody gets upset at that. Um, yeah, if you ever find yourself getting particularly upset at the way I play the game, try not to let it get to you too much. I mean, you know, this is just my play. I'm not saying I'm a professional Terraria player. In fact, the, most of the premise of me even doing this LP was that it would be sort of like, uh, we're all playing it together, we're all learning it, and discovering things as we go, right? So, I kind of didn't want to be an expert at the game, because I wanted to learn and progress as I play through it. Uh, not to say that it was a blind let's play at all, I've certainly done a little bit of research in times, and you guys have certainly given me all that information that I've been looking for. Uh, plus, I've played probably like 60-something hours before I even got to this point in uh, starting this let's play, because I've actually had another let's play and all of that. But it definitely was... Uh, more blind than not when it comes to the new content as far as, you know, 1.2 and beyond. I knew very little of what happens in the game beyond the 1.1 patch, and even then, I even didn't know all of that. Uh, basically, once they added the potions, that's when I stopped playing the game all the time, and started just sort of relegating it to occasional, casual play. That spider is wigging out, and it's freaking me out. Alright, he's dead anyway. Uh, there's a lot of vines over here. Am I headed in the right direction? I should probably double-check on the map now. Uh, this should get me... yeah, this is gonna get me to where I was going. So many vines, my goodness. And I'm actually seeing very little chlorophyte around here. Uh, I guess I could get that jungle spore. I'm not sure if I need that for anything at this point. Oh, jungle spores, more like. Oh, there's a little bit of chlorophyte in the ceiling here. I love that the mud is so easy to just mine right through. So do I need anything specific to get wiring done, or do I just, like, go buy wires? Because I think in Ter in, uh, Terraria, in Starbound, I think I need, like, a wiring device to be able to have that option to, like, set up wires. I don't know if it's the same thing here or not. Not like they necessarily have anything to do with each other, I just mean, like, as a general principle, uh, that's one way one game has handled it, and I don't know what Terraria did with that concept. So I'm sure I could look it up in the wiki as well, but... I'm not super worried about connecting the teleporters right now. It's something I could do in the future. And I could even uh, start out already in the jungle biome if I'm planning on spending another episode here uh, just mining for chlorophyte. We're going to see in a few moments uh, where I ended up in terms of progression on this stuff because I think I'm, I've got to be sort of close to where I need to be, right? I hope I am anyway. 
Uh, at least just for the armor set, I mean, not for, like, in total. And all of a sudden, I'm besieged on all sides by angry monsters of all types. Oh, it just randomly died. Okay, cool. I like when they do that. Oh, man, there's wasps everywhere, and they're all shooting thorns, hornet nest, bee stingers. I don't know what I'm even saying. That's honey, right? And honey apparently does heal you? That's... Oh, freaking walked right into that. That sucks. All right, well, I can go back and get the gold again on the next run. But that means, I guess, we are going to be looking through our total ore for the day and seeing where we ended up with things. So let's, let's open up our inventory here. We've got 99 and 16, and I guess that's all we've got. I thought we had more than that after all of that. I've noticed in the mushroom biome, which is now where our house is set up, it sounds like the Katamari Demacy music. Like, da -na 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 na It's sort of, it's similar, it's not quite there, it's sort of like one of those, like, a knockoff remix version of it. Not that I'm sure it was even, uh, even accidentally making reference to it, I just noticed that it, it just sort of seemed that way to me. Um, so I'm not saying, like, anybody copied anybody or anything like that. But I just thought that was kind of adorable, because, you know, both games I really enjoy quite a bit. Alright, so there's two more bars. And that's going to leave us with 63. And, oh, there's that. Let's put this in our inventory and see if there's anything in craft. Uh, probably got to be pretty close to armor set. Did I mention last time that I, I grant now that I understand about the anvil has to be on the same level as you for things to work? That was a thing I did not understand at first. It was kind of frustrating me why things weren't showing up there. Do I need the chlorophyte pickaxe for anything? Uh, it's 200% pickaxe power. What's the current one I have? 200% pickaxe power, 110% axe power. So it seems like a downgrade, 46 melee damage, 21% crit strike. Um, okay, so it's slightly more damaging, plus one to range. Whatever, I don't really care about that at all. And chlorophyte armors are going to be 24, 18, and 12. Alright, so I should actually be able to craft those then. I like the helmet quite a bit. Let's go ahead and do this stuff right now. And then I guess we will be, uh, the mean green man for the next episode. And we've got nine left, which is not quite enough to make any substantial difference. I'm gonna have to get rid of my princess armor so you can see the difference here. Um, I like how the dress covers the whole body, too. It's like, I was wondering if there was, like, legs, uh, for this set as well, but it doesn't appear so. And that's just a hat with a mask attached. Yeah, I, I kind of like that look. I think that is pretty cool, to be honest. Chlorophyte arrow, that's one bar for 50 arrows. It is an interesting proposition, but I don't think I'm going to be using arrows enough to really justify it. So, chlorophyte armor with... Oh, what is going on above my head? That must be my armor set bonus. Alright, what does this do? Uh, summons a powerful leaf crystal to shoot at nearby enemies. So I'm going to have to go see what that does. I keep thinking we're playing Starbound and hitting E to open doors. So the one fundamental difference that I can't seem to figure out. And I really want those other wings, like, pretty badly. I, now I'm thinking uh, maybe the... Let's see what... Oh, it actually just shoots at stuff the whole time. That's awesome. I like that. I'm um, thinking maybe the Waverin wings, or the... Not the Waverin... The uh, Harpy wings might be a better fit for this armor set. Of course, a hoverboard would always be amazing as well, but I'm going to need Shroomite for that, which means i got to buy an auto hammer, which is uh, the two platinum. So, yeah. I just wanted to see what this thing would do anyway if I walked over here and started confronting enemies... And now that I have this armor, it seems like nobody wants to fight me for some reason, strangely enough. You know, I also did fight harpies for a little while, too, when I was uh, trying to farm between things. I must have spent quite a few hours just listening to podcasts uh, and waiting for stuff to render. This is awesome! I don't even have to fight stuff now. You just, like, wait. Oh, you're you're gonna attack me, huh? I wonder, does this go through uh, walls? Let's see if I can shoot through walls now. No, I guess it is line of sight only. Alright, well, still, can't complain too much. So now I have an extra added bonus in terms of offensive power, which is a thing that I wasn't even expecting. And, I don't know, maybe, I guess if I really wanted to, I could throw a different armor set over top of this armor. Do you still get the crystal above you, though? I wonder how that works. I'll, why don't I go put on, like, the hell armor, the hellfire armor, whatever, the lava armor, see if that still looks that way. Or, what was the other one? Yeah, this one. What does the titanium armor look like? Oh, you still get the crystal. Okay, so I guess that is going to be the same. So I'm going to have that no matter what. I wonder, does it cast light as well? 
I don't know. Anyway, I think it is, uh, it's daytime now, so I kind of missed my chance to fight the twins. Uh, so I guess I will just wrap up the episode for now. Next episode, I'll go finish out the farming I was doing, see if maybe I could make a better sword or something as well. And we'll also craft the item for the twins. We'll do a boss fight next episode, and things should be interesting. So I look forward to seeing you back for that. Please continue to leave your support. Uh, as always, you guys have been absolutely wonderful, so please do continue leaving that, especially now. Uh, with YouTube being extra screwy with matches and things, it's been making me really stressed out. So, you know, the more support I have here, uh, the more comfortable and happy things are for me, and the more I'm more excited to keep recording for more, and, well, I'm just enjoying Terraria regardless. So I'm not saying, like, if you don't support me, I'm not gonna keep recording, that's dumb. Uh, but anyway, do what you can. I appreciate it, is what I'm trying to say. And continue to leave your uh, comments and suggestions on what you think I should do for coming up episodes, and I will continue to read every single one of them and adapt them to my strategy as I see fit. So, thank you again, I will catch you next time, and I hope you have a lovely night. Talk to you later.